Anyway, before we get started on the panel and the sessions this afternoon, I thought we'd have a quick chat with one of our uh, partners here, Mark, who works for Indogen. And uh, the conversation is all about, I was very intrigued when I was walking past their booth, I saw something and went, ah, wait, this is interesting. Anybody been at the Indogen booth here and seen what they've got? So if you know Viva and the behemoth out there, uh, it's an interesting thing that these guys are getting into. So I thought it might be interesting just to find out what it is and what they're doing and what the impact will be on people who are using Viva and Viva Vault at the moment. So, Mark, with that, Thank hello. You, Richard, was it? No, Stacey's going to move Thank you. Thanks oh. for having us. It's obviously a very exciting event for us that uh, we're launching a potentially industry-changing uh, uh, technology and innovation. So tell us more about what you're doing. And so why you're doing it. Yeah, I mean, more important. It is interesting. <laughs> you know, the, 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 as you all know, the farmer industry moves in packs. And uh, if you uh, went to uh, all of the present companies 10 years ago and you asked them, like, hey, uh, do you want to change your CRM? Is there something else you want to do? Virtually everybody have told you, no, we love our Siebel. It does everything we need. It's so well connected. We're never going to change. And here we are today. And virtually, uh, you know, 80, 85 percent of the companies have switched to a completely new solution that didn't exist at the time. Mm. So what we see in the space is about really a seven to eight year innovation cycle when the industry takes stock and looks at, you know, where am I right now, where, you know, what is the gap to where I need to be, and uh, there's room for innovation, and we've seen really every seven to eight years a major change in evolution, and that time for us is right now. So uh, what our clients are telling us, they're seeing this virtual monopoly that they're operating in right now in that, in that CRM space leads to very high cost. They're paying uh, top dollars, but they're seeing on the flip side the utilization only being in a 20 to 30 percent range. So the disconnect between the high price and the lack of utilization, which ultimately comes from, you know, the reps have evolved 10 years ago, yet primary care sales reps repeating the same message over and over again. I think that's still the case today, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> As we heard over the last two days, that certainly has evolved far beyond that. So, you know, what do those reps need today and what are the advances in technology that allow you to uh, actually deliver more value with these systems that will increase the utilization and can that also be you know, received at a lower price. So the innovation uh, works basically across all the spectrum of, you know, what does SaaS need to look like to give you the true flexibility and the cost advantages that you hope for when the industry entered this uh, ten or eight or ten years ago. Um, what are the capabilities that my sales rep need to really impact their customers, you know, from devices on their phone to uh, different channels like you know, LinkedIn, social media. So this is the stock that they're taking, and in this environment, uh, this, in, this area is uh, very ripe for innovation, and, and here we are, very so excited to launch. It's very interesting that you chose the Microsoft platform, though. Was that a decision? I mean, you guys are in most of the pharma companies anyway, doing some of the technology work, I think, right? Yeah. So why did you choose the Microsoft platform? Was there a reason for that? Is so, it mature enough? So absolutely, it's a, a benefit for both sides. Okay. So, I mean, I mean, there's lots of little homegrown CRM solutions everywhere, but if you look at the world of CRM, it's really a two race horse. There's Salesforce.com and there's Microsoft. Yeah. And Microsoft have invested heavily over the last two, three years and taken their platform really, if you look at, you know, Forrester or any of these analyst uh, reports right now, really to the very top of CRM today. Um, and they've taken a lot of flagship clients from Salesforce.com, like Visa, HP, multi-year contracts, highly announced. So that process has been made there, but it hasn't come into life sciences because, as you know, we have very particular needs for CRM. And uh, Microsoft was looking for a partner that can bring that healthcare, a uh, life science expertise, to their CRM and basically deliver a product in the genome omni presence that uh, can help them to play that same winning game in the life science industry. And uh, actually, this Microsoft CEO uh, mentioned their increased focus on life sciences and energy by name as one of the key examples at the last quarterly earning call. And we were looking for the industry leading CRM because if we want to deliver innovation, we need to bring these things to the forefront. So that partnership is actually ideally situated for us to position ourselves well and really bring that innovation that I talked about to this marketplace. So, last question. Yeah. If I'm a rat. What's in it for me? <laughs> you know, I've been given this iPad, I've got this thing on there, and what's in it for me? What right. will it do for me? So, I mean, that's, that's another big advantage of the Microsoft uh, partnership, right? And virtually 100% of the sales reps today, maybe not, maybe it's 99%, are already using the Microsoft solutions across all the ecosystem. Everybody's using Outlook, everybody's using PowerPoint, the calendar, yeah. PowerPoints, uh, 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 you know, uh, 
collaboration tool, SharePoint. Yeah. And so this will integrate with all that? So exactly. So our solution is part of the Microsoft Alliance, is natively integrated directly in the Microsoft ecosystem. So if anything, it simplifies um, the whole enterprise architecture into the Microsoft architecture from signing on from the underlying data model, from the ability to connect. And then that opens, makes the rep, uh, world easier for me as a rep. I have one calendar to manage. I can enter my contacts into my address book and they'll be right written into my CRM. You can I send can, an email from I can send my compliant emails and I will show it in my Outlook sandbox. Now these are the superficial benefits. Right. Underlying is you know, the deeper uh, enterprise architecture and the data model that underlies all of it, that binds it all together and you know, improves performance, availability, um, security, probably. Security. Love you. But, but think about it. What device do you, or the reps, or anybody, if you really use every day more than any other device? It's your phone. Who gives their CRM today to the reps on the phone? Nobody, right? So, and with this partnership and this environment, we will basically provide access to those tools, all of those tools, and any of the devices. Fantastic. And uh, increase utilization, ultimately impacting a customer, which drives sales. Well, it's a bold move. I wish you well. I think the corporate IT guys are going to love you because it's Microsoft. Let's <laughs> see how the reps go. Absolutely. Good luck with that. Thank you very much. Super. Nice, nice, thank nice. you. Excellent. Thank you.